Oh, seven citizens, Black here from Casa Black Gaming. And this is a special video because after hearing me talk about my wife finally getting into Star Citizen and playing the last couple of weeks, a member from my org, Northfield, reached out with a crazy idea. Officer Douglas wanted to give me and my wife Ruby an org event sponsored date night called Date Night with the Blacks. Now that's his choice and title, not mine, so please direct all comments to at Douglas Care of Northfield Org. Now our date night would be complete with a security chaperone romantic sights tour in the luxurious Origin 890 Jump. And also with the new Lynx Rover, we would also get a landside luxurious driven tour in style. So I asked my wife if she was interested and she said absolutely. So long as we could end the night with some in-game FPS combat because what better way to end the evening than with some death and destruction. So let's go ahead and get into the date night. Okay, so the night started off with us having to take off from Area 18 because, of course, the servers were not reliable on a Saturday night during the first day of Drake's Defense Con. So the 890 Jump, which was supposed to still be at New Babbage, was instead located back on good old Art Court. After the org found our way to Area 18, we boarded the 890 Jump and were greeted and shown to the bar on the 890, where we sat and were asked our meal preferences whether we were vegan or meat eaters. Now Ruby and I both eat meat, but we also do enjoy some good vegan food from time to time, but we went with the meat option. Our chef and also bartender, because one of the org members was not able to attend that night, served us some beers, which again, with server performance being what it was, was difficult to actually get out and give to us, but we got some beers in the end. Now as the 890 jump made its way across the stars, Ruby and I sat for a while discussing the finer points of our relationship, like how we ever got to this point to where we were now, sitting on such a fine spacefaring vehicle, which was way more than we could ever afford or had any right riding in, and we reflected on our poorer days. Now way, way back on our very first Christmas together, we weren't able to get home to Florida to be with our family, so since it was just the two of us alone in Georgia, we decided to quote unquote splurge and make something we both really liked and but hadn't had in a while, which was tacos. And so thus almost 22 years later, Christmas tacos is still something we do and have done every year since and have shared with our kids, family, and friends. Speaking of food, our chef showed us our food, and boy did it look absolutely delicious. Which, funny enough, was something I was planning on cooking the following day IRL for Memorial Day. The picture is courtesy of our chef for the evening, Outcast Spartan, who besides fixing up some delicious burgers is also a really great pilot. Alright, so after drinking a couple of the Versus Finest beers, which is what Ruby and I actually prefer instead of fancy champagne or wine in real life, we took a stroll out to the front of the 890 Jump to take in some of these spectacular views that our pilot, Commander Thuglas, planned perfectly, seeming to command even the sun to provide that extra special edge to the moment. So with the beautiful Stanton sun scenery behind us, it was time for the captain to take us to the river on Microtech so we could land and have a nice drive and maybe some drinks along the river. As Ruby and I drank another beer, the effects of which were starting to take hold, we thought we felt a slight rumble coming from above, but were instantly told there was nothing to be concerned with as we had just hit some atmospheric turbulence, which was normal around that altitude around New Babbage. My wife was hoping we might catch a glimpse at some wildlife while we were being driven about the scenic canyons that looked so perfect it was as if some river god or maybe river guy had reached down and formed them with his bare hands.
Now, having landed very gracefully, I mean, so graceful, in fact, that the fluids in the containers at the bar barely swayed, it was now time to make our way down to the garage to board Robert Space Industries' finest and newest luxury ground vehicle, the Lynx. We had all seen the commercials and were dying to ride in luxury. Now, Ruby and I, we're no celebrities, not by a long shot. It's nice to be recognized here and there, but we're certainly not verse royalty. Yet, the Northfield Org treated us as such, and we were well protected, as you can see by the show of force in our security detachment that guarded the vehicle, and which would be coming with us on the journey. Now, as we stepped inside the links, the smell of refined leather from Osoyan Hides greeted our senses, and the newness of this magnificent vehicle was just overwhelming. Inside were finely stitched seats and decorative wall panels. Champagne on ice was waiting. And also, the latest market updates all at the touch of a button. Ruby and I were feeling excited about taking our first lap of luxury, and as our vehicle was lowered to the ground, we could not help feeling like this night was just absolutely perfect. Well, it would seem that the perfect date ends with assassination. As the org desperately scrambled around to find answers, it was painfully clear that our perfect little life of luxury had come crashing down. Literally. It was amazing while it lasted, and while I do wish we could have finished that little drive along the river, the explosion was a clear reminder of our place in the verse. Ruby and I are industrial types who spend our days mining or salvaging for scraps. Maybe one day we'll hit it rich and come across some amazing find or huge chunk of quantanium, but the odds are against us, and we're more likely to end up as we did in that lynx. As for the org, well, they are making full inquiries as to how this happened, even possibly looking within to see if the org was infiltrated. Regardless of where the investigation leads, our evening was not quite over yet. We regrouped, and with whispers of a possible assassin being out at Ghost Hollow, our leaders came up with a couple of daring plans, with that 890 jump being dropped on Ghost Hollow or a bombing run with an A2 on the table. Ruby and I joined the A2, and with the remaining org out at Ghost Hollow, all in their own ships, our intrepid Captain Keiko, the A2 bomber extraordinaire, set the coordinates to meet up with the gang. Only for us to end up going through Art Corp and having yet another fiery death. But with our medical respawn point being that same 890 jump that was about to be dropped onto Ghost Hollow, we arrived with the gang pretty fast and so we met up with another org mate who had an M2 so we could get over there and off the 890 jump before it plummeted to its doom. Once on the M2, we took our seats and I watched from a porthole as the M2 took on various fighters and saw Keiko get some form of revenge and take out some of his frustrations from losing his A2 through the raw, awesome firepower of the M2 turrets. After some back and forth dogfighting and the skies now clear, we landed the M2 and set out toward Ghost Hollow on the Spartan.
We made good time until we got closer and some of our comrades were being shot at and the density of the trees made it harder to traverse the land. As we got stuck, I became kind of antsy and so I jumped out of my seat, ready to escape the vehicle. Now, as luck would have it, I was the sole fortunate one to escape as the Spartan quickly took on fire and was destroyed. I can't tell you how saddened I was that Ruby would not be able to join me any further as I set out to regroup with Commander Thuglas, who was already on foot and checking out the vicinity. Now, I had no gear except for the good old white jumpsuit and helmet, so my priority was to find gear. I managed to find armor from one of our fallen org mates, R.I.P. Brawley, and then managed my way in a dash under the Reclaimer wreck site and found a few bodies and a gun. Now I was able to be of some use and hopefully able to help Douglas get some sort of payback for all of our fallen heroes. We had no idea of how many enemies there were, but we began making our way around the crash site with neither fortune or luck on our side, but just a steel determination to make an impact so the night was not a total loss. Douglas and I scouted around and were quickly joined by a couple of other org mates. We ducked some fire and took a couple of hits, Our assailants were quite skilled and it was hard to locate any of them. Now I did finally manage to spot one of them, but they knew the terrain better than me and I quickly lost them before Thuglas could get them. Thuglas was closing in on the last place that I had spotted them and I had made my way to what I thought was a decent place to cover him. As he heard something nearby and made his move, I was suddenly shot from what seemed like behind and to the left and I was immediately dead. Thuglas did manage to kill one of the enemy forces before going down himself after having given up his location for the kill. The night had come to an end. All right, so that about wraps up this little video. This night would not have been possible without the wonderful org Northfield that I'm a part of, and more specifically, King Thuglas, who you can find on Twitter at King Thuglas, or over on Twitch, where he streams Star Citizen and some other FPS foolery under the name King Thuglas. If you're looking to join the Northfield org, you can clearly see that they not only have some amazing medical and security divisions, but also a great industrial division, and their events range from your normal in-game events like Jump Town, all the way up to the specially crafted events like Naked Bunkers, or even Org v Org Battles. I have a link down below with how you can get in touch with them. They also do some of the best training classes for various in-game mechanics that you're going to find anywhere. Regardless of whether you join Northfield or not, I cannot recommend it more highly that you should be a part of an org because Star Citizen is really meant to be played with others and you will completely enjoy your time in the verse so much more. Now as for my wife, and if she had a good time or not, she absolutely did and has now joined the org as well. Which if you know Ruby is a big deal because having a bad MMO guild experience ruined her from joining another one years ago. So her joining Northfield is a huge deal and speaks very highly of Northfield and their members. So what is next for mine and Ruby's ongoing adventures? Well, you'll just have to see. Will more come of the assassination story? Is there treachery inside of Northfield? What was that loud boom that Black and Ruby heard above? How fresh were those burgers if cows are nowhere to be found in Stanton? These and many more questions will hopefully be answered in the coming weeks or months. And as usual, I like to end all of my videos on a positive note. So remember to be kind to your fellow gamer. Colonel Mustard probably did it in the garage with a lead pipe. And stay positive citizens.